Hello everyone. So, I thought I'd do a uh, reassembly of that American lot. Because it has been a while since, I mean, people can see a lot of different disassembly videos. Um, but they rarely get to see them put back together. And, there's a good reason for putting stuff back together. I had this sitting up on my dresser along with several other things that I needed to get done sitting just like this with this lock standing up like that and behind it was some uh, windshield wiper inserts and I was thinking about doing a um, how to get a lot of your lock sports stuff on the cheap or for free for example you know like this makes a good follower for uh, American size locks up to a certain point, you know, it stops because it tapers out. But, uh, you know, it's it's not perfect. Uh, but it works just as is if you needed to use it, you know. I mean, if you didn't have a, a follower. That type of stuff. Well, when I lifted up the windshield wiper insert, this entire contents went down on the floor. Now, what I recovered right away was one pin stack. And the rest was a hunt. Um, and there was finally, I was down to one pin stack that was a holdout, and I finally found, um, the driver for it. So, I still have you know, I looked around and go, man, I still haven't found the screw. Luckily, it was in the body of the lock, so it never really fell down. But I took a long time looking for that, too, without looking up there. I was like, oh, man, I got everything except for the damn screw. I'm screwed, <laughs> or I wasn't screwed, but I didn't know it until I looked here and I found the screw. But screw that, anyways. I wanted to show um, how to put this together and the importance of it because I shouldn't have had that left lying around. Usually, if if you've um, disassembled a lock for whatever reason, you'll take pictures of it and you'll upload your video or whatever. And you'll um, if you've got animals, you know, like cats, they'll come around and they don't know any better. They'll sit there and, oh, yeah, perfect place to lay, you know. And then you come in there and say, get off that. Like, yeah! And as they take off, shing, there goes all the pins everywhere, you know. So there's that to consider. Um, and then just the human error, you know, like like I said, I just ran right into it. I just bumped into it. I could have bumped into it, but I'm, I was picking something else up, and then the chain reaction happened, so there you go. Now, what's different about um, American, like some of this stuff is from the Huck kit that you get. It's got the Huck locksmithing tool kit, and it has the famous um, C-clip remover, which doesn't work on these that well because, uh, like I said, these are smaller diameter cores and stuff. Smaller pins, smaller cores, smaller springs. Smaller everything, except for difficulty. They can be a pain in the butt to pick. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, because everything went everywhere, um, if I had a picture of, of uh, taking it off, you know, and displaying it before, which I do, I could set it up the way it came from in the factory and everything. But since I don't, I mean, well, I do have a... Uh, um, one of those. I'm I'm just gonna put it together the way I would put it together. Now these are those uh, non-open spring things, and the pin holder ones. These are for springs. Uh, these work really well for springs. You try grabbing a spring with this, yeah, it'll pick it up, and you'll you'll think you've got it. You know, like oh yeah, I got a hold of that one, and then you go to do something, choo, off it goes. So for springs, these work a lot better. But we're not in the spring. Well, actually, we are in, in season time. You know, it is spring, but we're not at that part of this operation, Mr. Smarty. All right. So we got a little short one here. I mean, you can look at, you can kind of get an idea. The short one is going to be the one that's the highest cut up here. So this is probably going to be pin number one by my guess. And it was actually laid out like that, but. That's just random. Does that work? Yep. That looks like pin one. He's all flush. And you have to watch out that you make sure the key is 
you know, flush up against there and hold it when you check these. Because if you if he's pulled out a little bit, you'll say, oh, no, that's not pin one, you know, and you go through and try and find out that none of them are aligned until you push your key in. But, all right, so this is a deeper cut guy. I think, I don't know if he drops off that fast, but we'll see if, if the way I've got him laid out here, this randomly happens to be the way it is. I doubt it. I doubt it. Because, like I said, I picked him off off the floor. I just set him in there. I have to pre-position this. That's why I said the, um, these pins are smaller. Um, you run into pins. See, now that one doesn't go all the way in. I mean, he goes in, but he's sticking up way too high. So we'll go to the next stack. Too deep. This one is too deep. You can't see that right now, but... Believe me, it's too deep. So now you want to make sure that you... Well, you got pin one straightened out. You can fiddle a little fart around with pin one or just take him out and just leave him in there so you know pin one's right. And then you don't have to mess with all this. So now we got to find out where this guy belongs. I just pulled a key back a little bit. I should probably zoom in on this a little bit. Then I'm going to forget I'm zoomed in, but oh well. That's the way it happens. Uh, yeah, I pulled the key back a little bit to make it stick up. But you can see how it's, when it's in there, um, it's too deep. And the driver, if you try to put that in the lock, the key wouldn't turn. You'd have problems. You'd have to pick it open, probably. So we'll take him out of there. This is tedious. This is why a lot of people don't show that. I mean, if you took it apart correctly... You just lay them back in the order you put them in there, you know? You just, you wouldn't have to go through all this. This is only when accidents happen. Still too deep in chamber four. So now we've got, will this be in four or five? I'm going to hope that it's four. And it is. So we've got pin four. We'll just set these guys over here since we know that they're all... We're not going to have the miraculous, I got them all in order thing happening. Right, so we put four in his little chamber over there. It's going to be slow and tedious, you know. Especially the way I do it. Alright, so now we've narrowed it down. I've got a longer one here. So put him down here in pin five. Too long. So now our possibilities are five... Two and three. Oh, it's a good thing I have this little tray down here. We would have gone sailing. Nope, not two. Bingo on three. So, pin three is what we want. He like said, "Feel free to fast forward, speed it up." For those of you that speed it up, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, so this is going to be the pin three. Ooh, perfect, pin three. So now we only got one we've got to figure out. Which is the last one. And guess what? There's not a lot of figuring out for that one. But we want to verify that we haven't made a mistake somewhere. And he's a little short pin, so he's the highest one up there. Perfect. So, yeah, this is not a bad bidding. Since we're going to load this up. Oh, see, I was zoomed off often. I knew that I should not. That's what happens when you zoom and forget about it. Forget about it. All right, so I put him back in this little thing so I don't drop everything. And I get over here and I'm just going to load them up. Pointy side down. You can put these things in upside down and it'll actually work, but it'll work. Um, it'll work differently let's put it that way not as smoothly as it should why is that guy not going in i've already made a mistake huh well, already made a mistake somehow well whoever was screaming and watching this hey you put that in the wrong pin i didn't hear you because this is live this is live, not Memorex. 
Now I've run into something weird. Oh yeah, I dropped. <laughs> it, it's a six pin chamber, but I've only got five pins on lock. See how much I rehearse this stuff? You can tell I don't rehearse anything. It's all done from the seat of my pants. So, pin six belongs in not pin six because there is no pin six. Come out. There he is. It's very threatening. Yeah, there is no pin six. Pin six is actually pin two. Now, if you wanted to. If you wanted to, you could... Now, you could drop another pin in here, but you'd have to get another spring and another driver. And uh, I'm not going to do that right now. You can actually find one that will ride on the bow of that key without modification. You may have to, if it winds up on an intermediate size, you may have to file the top of the, the pin, the key pin, to get it to go flush. But you saw what a problem I had with just doing this. So we're not going to do that right now. How far have we gone? 11 minutes! And we just got to the key pin. I should make this like a multi-part series. Like, alright. He finally got past the easiest part of the assembly. Now let's go to the difficult stuff. Alright, now. Loading your springs in. First you want to know front from back. Fortunately... I've dealt with this before. I marked the chambers. This is a front. If you look closely at this one, you can see there's a little lip there. If you still couldn't figure that out and everything because, you know, you've never done that before, you can put the empty core in there and just try to line the holes up. They'll line up one way and the offset. Sometimes they'll line up both ways and then you're in trouble. But usually, I don't know. I don't know if you're in trouble, but there's a reason why there's a, a recess back here and everything, and there's not one here. Uh, there's a reason for that. So I'm going to pause this because it's taking too long. I'm just going to make it like a two-parter.